It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree. Today, let's read a Halloween story together. Ooh. The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt. Written by Rial Nason. Illustrated by Byron Eggenschweiler. Once, there was a little ghost who was a quilt. He didn't know why he was a quilt. His mom and dad and all his friends were sheets. They were light as air. They flew high and fast and twirled and whirled in the sky. They could even ride on a gust of wind and then whoosh back to the ground like they were going down an invisible slide. <laughs> The little ghost who was a quilt was heavy because of his layers of fabric. It was hard for him to lift off, and he was a slow flyer. He got hot and sweaty when he tried to go faster. The only time he attempted to twirl and whirl, oof, it didn't end well. Oh. One day, he and his friends were at the park when they heard someone coming. His friends zoomed away go, go, go. because ghosts are terrified of people. But the little ghost couldn't escape quickly enough. He flopped over a bench. A family came along, and a little boy who was eating an ice cream cone sat down beside him. The little ghost had never been so close to a human before, and he felt fear in every fiber of his fabric. The boy only stayed a few minutes, but he dropped a big blob of melted ice cream right on the little ghost's face. Yuck. Oh. Later, when some other ghosts saw him, they laughed at the stain on his forehead. <laughs> the little ghost was embarrassed and also very sticky. The little ghost didn't like being different. His mom told him he had an ancestor who was a checkered tablecloth, and his great-grandmother was an elegant lace curtain. Everyone said she was the most beautiful ghost they'd ever seen. Even knowing that, the little ghost didn't feel any better. He wished he was just one fabric and not a whole bunch of squares sewn together. The other ghosts called him Scrappy, <sighs> and he didn't like that. But there was one day that always cheered him up. Halloween! People seemed excited about ghosts on Halloween, and sometimes children dressed as them to trick or treat. Every year the ghosts went to watch the festivities. They stayed silent and still in the trees and pretended to be decorations, far away from any humans. Too heavy to hover, the little ghost who was a quilt usually draped himself over a clothesline. He never had a very good view. This year, he had a better plan. He remembered how close he had been to the boy at the park, so he decided he would be brave and fold himself over a chair on a porch, right in the center of the action. Halloween night came, and the little ghost flew as fast as he could, but he was only halfway across a lawn when he heard people coming. At the last possible second, he flopped over the porch rail. A mom walked up the driveway with a little girl dressed as a ballerina. While the girl trick-or-treated, trick-or-treat, the mother asked the man at the door something. The next thing the little ghost knew, the mom had picked him up. He was so scared he thought his seams might come unstitched. <laughs> the mom wrapped the little ghost around the girl and put them both in a wagon. The girl had been cold, and now the little ghost was keeping her warm. He could hardly believe what was happening. They headed down the street past his friends in their tree. No, don't go, one whispered. What are you doing? The little ghost decided to fly away as soon as the girl got out of the wagon to trick-or-treat again. But the mom didn't turn into the next yard, or the one after that. 
By the time she finally walked up to a house, the little ghost was panicking. How would he get away? The mother parked the wagon and carried the girl and the little ghost into the house. The little ghost didn't know what to do. He reminded himself to stay calm and be brave. The little ghost peeked around the room. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. He even saw a branch trimmed with lollipop ghosts. They looked just like his friends in the tree. The little girl tucked the little ghost who was a quilt under her legs as she sorted her candy into piles. He felt surprisingly cozy. Maybe things would turn out okay after all. The girl ate a chocolate bar, and when she wiped her sticky fingers on the little ghost, he didn't even mind. After the little girl was asleep upstairs, her mom gently folded the little ghost who was a quilt. She smiled and admired his fabrics and traced her <laughs> finger along a line of his stitching. <laughs> it tickled. She set the little ghost on the couch and went upstairs too. When she was gone, he flew into the fireplace and out the chimney. His smile was three squares wide. The little ghost's friends cheered and rushed over to him. They were amazed by his courage and wanted to hear every detail of his adventure. They flew slowly along with him all the way home. The little ghost was so happy that he felt like he was floating without even trying. Everything that had happened was because he was a little bit different. Everything had happened because he was a quilt. The end. Thank you for reading with me today, friends, and happy Halloween! Grown-ups, you can find me on Instagram. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye-bye!